Welcome to Ucanic today here on Ucanic. We have a 2015 Mercedes GL 450 and this has the V6 model with the uh, twin turbo. We have our uh, check engine light is on. We have the uh, scanner hooked up to read that check engine code. And so gone through, I've already picked the vehicle, um, match the VIN, make sure we're all good there. Then we're gonna just go into control modules instead of doing, um, searching the whole vehicle. Go into drive, the motor electronics, then we wanna read those codes. And then we have the two that we're concerned about right now is the P01300, right? As well as the P01000, zero, 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 so 1000. One is the uh, the top one, the P001300 zero, 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 is the actuator exhaust camshaft cylinder on the bank one. And then the other one, the P001000, zero, zero, is the actuator intake camshaft on bank two, All right? So, on bank one. They're both on bank one, right? We have these um, camshaft actuators on bank one and banked on bank one. So bank one is cylinders one, two, and three. Bank two is three, four, five. Uh, four, five, six, right? Bank two is four, five, six. As you're looking at the engine from the front of the vehicle. So we have our bank one actuator for the intake is the one closest to the intake, of course. And then the one here close to the uh, exhaust is your exhaust actuator. So we're going to go over the process of how you would get to those to be able to replace them. This side is a bit harder to replace, being that you have this coolant uh, reservoir that is in the way and its bracket for you to be able to get these actuators off. You might be able to get this one off, but this one you still might be able to get it off. But to make it a little bit easier, we're going to be able to pull this out a little bit. So, we'll pop this cover and raise it and set that to the side. And then when we get down into here, we have an electric connector here to unhook so that we can get this out of the way of the bowl. We've also, you'll drain your coolant down or, or vacuum it out, not vacuum it out, but like um, extract it out of this reservoir so that when you undo some connections there, you don't leak any. And so here is two uh, E10s that you remove. Right down in here is a T25 to be removed of a screw. There's a T25 right here to be removed and straight below it is a T25 that you just need to loosen a little bit and then that way you can pull up and remove this sensor here. Then we need to pull that tab up and we can be able to release that. And then that way we have some space with this removed for these lines to move. These are um, vacuum lines that go to the turbos and whatnot. And so we want to be careful with them and not break them, but we want to be able to kind of move them out of the way. Then you're going to go around. We have one black uh, connector here. It just holds that cable to it. There's one up top here. There's one down here. We're going to get after we undo this. And we have this connector here that you're going to pull off of the plastic. Then you need to undo this one. Same thing, we pull up the tab. We get that connector to come off and I'm done there. And then this one, you need to spin it a little bit. You have this blue tab in there. We spin it to the right and then that way it's able to come out. And with that out, we have another T25 that you undo right down here at the bottom of this plastic. And then that way we have access to be able to pull this out. We're going to kind of move this uh, cooling line, which is an AC cooling line. Well, something like that. And then you'll be able to pull this out. We have this electric clip that is holding on to this that we'll want to... Uh, Okay, got that clip off. Now we have space to be able to move this around. Move it out of the way a little bit. We've got that wire holding us up. And then, with all that, we can now just set this to the side. 
and just kind of hold it out here. And that way we have full access to these two actuators, one for the exhaust actuator and one for the intake actuator on the bank one. And so now you can be able to replace these. These are just some T10, or not T10s, E10s on both of them, three of them, pop the, coat, the switch off. These are all interchangeable. They're all the same uh, number of part for, for these sensors. So um, no problem there. And then when you get done and you put it on, you'll just make sure you take your electric connector on either one and be able to connect it back up. So once you've made that uh, major repair of that, then we'll be able to put this back on. Lining it back up, you have this tab that's on the back that's going to line right up there with that hole on the, um, the, in, um, the head block here. It's more of the timing cover case. And so we're gonna line it up right there. And then we have this over here is where we have a T25 um, that goes in right there. Okay, we've got that all in and lined up. So you can put your uh, E11s in, or E10. The E10s in up at the top. We'll get those started in. And so you'll, you'll snug those up. You'll just want to make sure you put all your connectors back where they came off. as well as this big one here. And now with the big one, we have that connector inside there. And then to just twist that to the right and twist it in, that locks it back into place. Then we connect that connector until it locks, put the safety lock down and the same thing here. And we can put this guy in, dropping down the T25, on the um, T25 up here, and tighten that up into place. And you tighten the bottom one. Also, we have a T25 that we put in down there. But, and you put your other components back on. Then when you're done, you'll go in to your code reader um, that you can too, and be able to clear out those codes. Codes are cleared. It's checked, it's saying that we have another fault of another sort. And that's something to do with the vehicle speed, but that's another one to address later you do there you clean that all or put everything back on and you'll be good to go and then um, that is one possible fault is that the sensors went bad and like I said this is the bank one uh, exhaust actuator intake actuator uh, if it comes back if your code comes back on you're gonna definitely need to be looking into maybe you have something else happening happening whether it's internally um, that these are getting, like your timing chain is getting stretched and so everything's off, or the um, a wire has gotten pinched somewhere. If then you'll need to be looking into your wiring harness or maybe something has happened with the ECU. Thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.